Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've done the avatar look, which I've been so excited to do. I've just really enjoyed doing this look. I did do this look about two years ago and I never revisited the look because I was just worried I wouldn't be able to do it as good again. Um, but I'm so happy with how today's worked out. I'll even insert a picture of what it looked like a couple of years ago. Obviously the um, picture quality isn't great because it was just with like an iPhone 4 or something like that. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll try and keep it super simple and we'll jump straight into it. So to start this look, I am just priming my face using a thick or mattifying primer because I find my face does sometimes react to face paints and body paints. I'm using Graftobian's water activated paint and I'm starting off with the blue and then I'm dipping in the yellow and also the white just to get a little bit of an aqua kind of color and as it dries it does get darker so I made it a little bit light and if I found it needed to be bluer in certain areas I just keep dipping into the blue. Although this look is a dramatic transformation, I feel like the steps are quite easy. Pretty much step one is just get yourself blue as far as you want to be avatar. So for me, that was also my shoulders, but if you just want it to be your neck and face, do that first. To get a smooth and opaque application, I just used a flat paintbrush and then went over the top with a wet sponge. And I found like this was the best way to get it as smooth as possible. Then to set everything and then also cover up any lines or patchiness, I'm just using a blue eyeshadow and I'm using a really pigmented palette by Morphe. I find the more pigment, the better because then you can fix up any mistakes. So the next few steps are going to just be like normal makeup. I'm doing cream highlighting with a white grease paint that I've mixed blue eyeshadow in. And where you place this highlight will change the shape of your face and where you want um, say flatter areas or wider areas. I want my face to look a bit wider just because that was the shape of the avatars um, And then I also set the gap wide between my nose to give the illusion of that bigger nose look as well Make sure you're careful when you are blending it out that it is a tapping motion If you do swipe at all you will ruin the layers of paint underneath and that's when you can start putting patches and holes in the paintwork that you did at the beginning. Time for contouring. So this is where the look really starts coming together. Um, you start giving that blue skin dimension. So I'm just using a powder and I have already set the cream highlighter so that doesn't go anywhere. Just have to be really careful with grease paints because they can still move around a bit. And in the finished look, you can see a few lines. So um, it's a great product, but it can just be a bit tricky to work with if you're looking at the makeup close up. So for the nose contour, it is going to be the opposite to what we do for beauty makeup. So for beauty makeup, you would bring the lines as close together as possible to give the illusion of a smaller nose. And in this sense, we do want that wider set nose. So I've just done it in line with my tear ducts, so it still does look realistic. And then blended that out down the bridge of my nose. Now for the triangles or stripes, I'm not really sure what you call them or what they are on the avatar but I am getting that same dark eyeshadow that I used for contouring and just marking out where I want these stripes to be and then if I find that they get too dark I just get the blending brush and buff that over the top just to tone them down a little bit but you can make them as light or as dark as you like. To get the animated look, I'm just getting white gel eyeliner and tight lining my eyes. Now it's time for highlighting, which was seriously the most amazing thing about this look. Like, I love highlighting as it is, but to highlight an avatar was just awesome. So I'm just chucking this pretty much everywhere. Like, I do do all the normal highlighting points, but then if I felt like it needed, to go somewhere else, I just chucked it anywhere, so no rules for highlighting. To colour the lips and nose, I'm just using some blush.
For the Avatar Freckles, I'm just using Jeffree Star's Liquid Lipstick in Drug Lord. I preferred this over a white body paint just because it does dry quickly and it's kind of smudge proof because the worst thing would be if your hair swiped across this and made lines all over your hard work. So that's why I went for the Liquid Lipstick this time. And from what I could see from the pictures, they were just placed in the central parts of the face and probably where the sun would hit. So you can obviously put them wherever you like. But I found this time compared to the first time I did it, I made them smaller and I did less of them, which was probably just a little bit more refined. And once you've done these, I just put on really small lashes, eyeliner and mascara and you are done. And that's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked this video, please hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace out. This is so cool. So cool. Best fun. The best fun. The best time. Whoa. Angles. People. Angles. I'm an avatar. I love these styles. The unfortunate thing is this. <laughs>